Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna look at the next piece of the puzzle for my huge display tank upgrade. All right, so as described, the post he has been and uh, he's dropped off the next piece of the uh, puzzle for my main display upgrade. This is a part that I knew I wanted um, even before upgrading this tank. It's one of those things you see once and you go, one day I'll have a tank um, with that. And uh, I can now say, despite having not opened the box yet, that I'm fairly sure it's a shadow overflow. Now, my decisions based on this weren't overly, um, I don't know, logical or I didn't go through the thought process. Um, it's just one of those things, it was just something that it, it was drawn in my head, I want a shadow overflow, I've seen these things in some incredible American builds, and um, I mean, let's be honest, I wanted to emulate that, I wanted to copy that. If I was being realistic about it, I probably could have got in touch with the guys um, that are a channel sponsor in Himali uh, in Australia, they will make a custom overflow to any size requirement whatsoever and do just as good job, if not better, for whatever reason, the shadow overflow is the direction I wanted to go this way. Um, I honestly don't have a reasonable answer for it other than I've just always wanted one. So here we are. I figured I'd do an unboxing, show you what we get with the shadow overflow. This is the V2 16 inch version. Um, I'd open it up and show you what we got and go from there. All right, so I'll break out the uh, trusty Leatherman and uh, we'll rip this unit open. I um, picked this up from an Australian uh, retailer. A huge shout out to 100% Reef Safe. I will give full disclosure, I had a look at what it was gonna to cost to bring one in from um, directly from uh, uh, Synergy Reef themselves. Uh, the price was fairly similar, maybe a touch cheaper. Um, so I figured, may as well support the guys that are supporting the Australian industry. Um, Pete and Sue did a great job getting this out to me. It came much quicker than expected and um, definitely a lot quicker than it would have if I ordered straight from America. So always, um, where you can support the guys that are supporting you in this hobby. So I did pay uh, full retail, although I will uh, give a little uh, shout out to Sue. I was a, a bit cheeky in that um, on the advertisement, I saw that it said it had uh, free postage on the uh, Shadow Overflow. Turns out that was an error, but um, the team at 100% Reef Safe were uh, that good that they uh, actually honored the free postage. So that's um, super generous of the, the team there. They could have just said, nah, too bad. All right, I'll turn that around so the logo's the right way. You can see the packaging was this nice uh, bubble wrap, so it's nice, safe, and sound. Here we are, the V2 Shadow Overflow. Wow, the box looks pretty crazy. <laughs> For what is an overflow, let's get this bad boy out. Now, this one does come with the um, drill bit. A, uh, let's see, what do we got? A two and a half inch ceramic marble drill bit, okay. I won't actually be using the drill bit on this instance. I'm fairly sure I'm still working out the tank, but I'm fairly sure my tank's gonna come with the uh, holes drilled for the V2 overflow. But, um, you know, I've got the drill bit there, should I ever need it. All right, I get uh, the trademark uh, receipt with some lollipops from 100% Reef Safe. Um, very nice little touch uh, from the team there. But this is the star of the show, the overflow itself. And it looks like it comes uh, shrink wrapped from um, the team at uh, Synergy Reef. So we'll just get that box out of the way. My dog is just out of camera over there watching with great interest. She is the one that normally barks her head off in all of these videos. All right. Now, one thing I just saw then, Shadow V2 Serial 5150. So they actually, um, they keep an inventory of, of all of these, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can get this lid off. It does have some tape holding it down, but once we, just to stop it flapping about and chipping, I guess. Pull that off. All right, let's see if that now lifts off. Oh, there's still tape holding it down. There it goes. All right, that's the overflow cover. Pretty fancy bit of kit with the Synergy Reef embossed in there. We get the uh, U-adapters, which will allow us to um, have two of these. This, the, this style of overflow is, 
I mean, it gives you the, the flexibility to create the style of overflow you want, but realistically, they're um, recommending you go for a bean animal. So we've got uh, two U pieces here. They'll be at slightly different heights, and then the third one will be an emergency. Um, one will be completely submerged, one will be half submerged, and then the third will be full, fully submerged, or fully non-submerged. Um, all right, let's pop these off so we can separate the two bits. rock and roll. So, just don't want to lose any of the bits here. I'm just going to put them all neatly aside so I can explain what we've got. Well, I'll try and explain what we've got. This is the first time I've seen one um, not installed on a tank. So, we get the uh, drilling guide. Now, this is very important because it shows you what the um, shows you what the water height will be. It'll show you where the uh, combs will be and also where you need to drill the holes. So this is the very important piece that you, if you are drilling the holes yourself, you need to mark this on your tank. You normally tape it down and then also draw some texture marks just in case your tape undoes or something. That comes with them. They also point out that they do this out of um, core flute. So it's, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a honeycomb. It's, it's hollow so that uh, when you're drilling it, water can flow through and all the bits of uh, glass can get out of the way, which is a good idea. I mean, Plus it's waterproof, so good thinking. All right, now this is the tiny little piece that we kind of statically attaches to. This is the tiny little piece that ends up inside your tank. That is all the overflow that we're gonna need in a tank this big. It's hard to believe um, that that's all there will be. That will bolt in the inside of the tank compared to my current tank now that probably has a um, almost a one foot column um, taking up the left corner of my tank. I'm super excited to see um, just w utilize the full real estate of the tank. Now let's see if I can take this off. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so uh, bear with me. I don't want to break it. <laughs> There's a little bit of tape here. I'm not sure what that bit's for. Ah, she comes out that way, okay. Well. Oh, so there we go. So the uh, comb is removable. So if you wish to clean that, you can take it off. Um, handy little feature because I, in my current tank, the um, overflow comb has got a bit of algae and stuff growing in there. Being able to remove that and give it a good scrub would be quite handy. I will point out that um, uh, Synergy Reef do actually sell extra ones of these. So if you wanted to, you can have one clean and one, you know, so you switch it out and put the clean one in. That's the very narrow uh, little box there. The bulkhead's there. Of course, you've got um, gaskets. So you wanna go on that side. Then you'll bolt that onto the tank. Then you'll put the next gasket on. So obviously you're gonna have the glass in between those two gaskets. And then uh, you bolt, well I say you bolt, you attach it via the bulkheads. This back box here, that then comes in there. You screw on the bulkheads and you attach your uh, pipes to these guys here. Pretty nifty little unit. You can see it's uh, like a smoked out color, so you can see through there if you need to, but um, for all intensive purposes, it's um, black. The internal bit is completely blacked out. Cool. Thought I had a scratch, but it was just one of my hairs. Very neat little unit. So yeah, that's the uh, Synergy Reef. I don't have much more to say about it for now. Um, obviously until we get it wet, but I just want... All right, guys, that's all I got time for today. Not a huge eventful video, but um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit excited about the Shadow Overflow Box. I don't know why I am. It's just something I've always wanted and now I have one. I just don't have a tank to install it to just yet, but rest assured, as soon as I get the tank, there'll be some updates on that for you guys soon. There's also been a lot of other things happening that I'm just about ready to put out videos for, but I just need to tie in a few more details. So if you have not done yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll make sure you won't miss out on any of those future videos. And as always, if you've got any uh, suggestions or comments or feedback, pop it in the comment section down below. Um, I'm learning, we're uh, going through this journey together, so I appreciate all your feedback. Um, it's been very helpful so far, working out uh, heating and chilling options, um, some of the uh, uh, cladding options for the uh, extruded aluminium stand and some other things like that. So I really appreciate your input, guys. It's always welcome. Till next time, guys, I'm going to wrap up there. Um, stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.